the Prophet وسلم, in Medina to Munawwara, in the Hadith literature, Hadith that's in the Mustadrak of Imam al-Hakim, Imam al-Bayhaqi also records the Hadith. He performed his own Aqiqah in Medina. And Imam Suyuti says in his Fatwa and his Fatawa that this was to celebrate his Mawlid. The Prophet وسلم, celebrated his Mawlid. This is the opinion of Jalaluddin al-Suyuti, who was a great, great scholar. Right? In the Sahihain, why are you fasting? We know the Hadith. That that yawmu ulitu fi wa unzila alayya. This is the day in which I was born, and the day in which the Quran was revealed to me. In the Sunan of Imam al Nasa'i, a sound hadith from uh, Abu Sa'id al Khudri, he says that Mu'awiyah radiallahu anhu, he says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam one time came and he saw his Sahaba in a halqa, sitting in a halqa. And he said, ما, ما أجلس, ما أجلس, uh, ما أجلسكم. Why are you sitting in the circle? What has brought you out here? Why are you sitting in this majlis? And they responded to the Prophet وسلم, They said, ندعو الله, huh? ندعو الله و... He said, we're calling on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَنَحْمَدُهُ عَلَى مَا هَدَانَ لِلْإِسْلَامِ وَمَنَّ عَلَيْنَا بِكَا بِكَا He said, uh, they said to him, uh, to, uh, we are calling on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is what we're doing here, and we're, uh, we're uh, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guiding us to Islam, okay, and, for, and the blessing of you, and the blessing of you, Ya Rasulullah, Right? So what are the Sahaba doing? What we're doing? That's exactly what we're doing. Right? And then the Prophet ﷺ, he said, I'm not asking you to rebuke you. Read the entire hadith. He said, I'm asking you because I was informed that inna Allah ta'ala yubahi bikum al-malaika. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is boasting to the angels about you right now because of what you're doing. So what were the Sahaba doing? They were sitting around, they were supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, huh? and they were recounting the blessing of, of, of Allah sending them the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So celebration of Mawlid is indispensable. Every Muslim has to celebrate the Mawlid. In other words, every Muslim has to be happy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Prophet them. If you're not happy that Allah sent the Prophet them, then there's something wrong with your aqidah. That's an aqidah issue. On the day in which you do that, that's a fiqh issue. That's not an aqidah issue. You do it one day, today, in the masjid, somewhere else, that's, that's not an aqidah issue. But, but expressing joy for the birth of the Prophet them, this is something that is indispensable. This is, this is the hallmark of a Muslim. The Christians say, La ilaha illallah. I've heard them say, Arab Christians, Jews, they say that too. What makes the difference? They say, what, what makes the difference for us? Muhammadur Rasulullah. Muhammadur Rasulullah. He's the messenger of God, the final messenger of God. 